may call it happy love. Are you going to sing to me now? Oh, I guess I'll never know. Because that makes me nervous. <laughs> How a young heart really feels. And why I love you so. I think of you whenever I hear this. Pretend I'm not here. I'm very busy. This is me being busy. Gee, I at least buy me dinner first. <laughs> I'm looking for this stapler. I can't find it anywhere. I stopped keeping it under Marianne's ass weeks ago. <laughs> I'll keep looking. Stapler, huh? I must have written at least two pages. Hey, smell me. Hey, bite me. <laughs> no, I mean it. Oh, uh... Pretty. Do you have a date tonight? You're an incredible woman, but you frighten me. <laughs> Hence the coconut. Does this frighten you? <laughs> Before you say anything, hear me out. I'm crazy about you. I may even love you. Don't tell me that you haven't felt it, too. Okay, but I really haven't. <laughs> well, Ira, it's nice to know that you feel close enough to me to be so brutal in your honesty. You're not taking these with alcohol, are you? <laughs> no, I don't need to. Marianne, this is strong stuff. You have to be careful. These things have side effects. Ah, pish. Punch. Oh, boy. Thank you. Oh, look over there. This is that big pig who used to work in Dr. Dick's office. Shh, no, man, she's standing right next to you. No, she's not. She's halfway across the... I'm sorry. I wasn't crazy enough. Tell me the truth. No, that's There's not... another muse, isn't there? No, never. Mary Ann, you helped me write again. My muse, my sweet, shining muse. Wow. I've never been dumped so beautifully before. I don't even think I'll stalk you. Well, that's my loss. I've seen your work and uh, you're the best. Oh, you. Now get out of here before I saw halfway through your brake cable. Marianne. Goodbye. Goodbye, Ira. I'll never forget you. See you at Sybil's. Your hair is flat. Is that what you came here to tell me? Yes. Well then, thank you. Good night. Mary Ann! Who is it? <laughs> Open up! No. I came over here to say something, and, uh, I'm gonna say it. What I was gonna say is, I think you're making a big mistake with Lyle. Oh, and how's that? Well, look at him, Mary Ann. The pigs will always come first. He'll drag you to state fairs and hog auctions and, and, and meat packing plants. You'll be the first lady of pork. <laughs> there won't be enough. I know you. Ira, I have a tiny confession to make. I was just using Lyle to make you jealous. You were? It worked, didn't it? No. Yeah. That's why I kind of kicked your plant. <laughs> Gee. Nobody's ever kicked a plant for me before.
night, Mary Ann. Yes. Good night. Oh, how he loves me. <laughs> and Ira, can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you my boyfriend now? Yeah, I guess I am. What was I thinking? The attic's not down here. I'd love to crack open your fortune cookie. I can't believe how you're, um, water chestnuts. Stayed so firm. <laughs> you really know your way around a chopstick. And you make me feel so egg foo young. <laughs> I quit. Take me now. Or I'm going home. Oh, thank you, Mary. I've been waiting all night for some kind of sign. <laughs>